All right, guys, I was just on right click select and I noticed somebody asking for a quite a useful feature. And a bit of investigation led me to find that the feature is already there. I've no idea how long it's been there, but it's quite useful. So I thought I'd make a quick video. And if you've been eyeing up Turbo Tools, it's a good time to pounce on it because it's currently 25% off at the Blender Market. And the feature is if you choose a collection, you can then isolate the collection by right clicking it and choosing visibility, isolate. And it will isolate just this one collection and turn all the others off. And to get it back out of isolation, you right click it again, visibility, and just click isolate again. Now it's a bit long winded. So the way I do it, right click visibility, and then right click on the isolate operator and assign a shortcut G just for now. And then I can press G to isolate whichever collection I've currently got selected in the outliner, or if you've got multiple, whichever is active. One problem I've found though, is if you try and isolate a nested collection, like this one, it's gonna isolate all the way to the top. So we're still gonna get all three. So that's probably a bug that hopefully they will fix. And one other thing that's cool about this is that if you isolate, let's say, I isolate this collection here, I can then still use the normal isolation mode in the viewport. So forward slash on the numpad will isolate, but it will also keep this collection isolated as well. So you can perform an object isolation whilst maintaining your collection isolation. Now the problem is once you select an object over here and you come across here and you try and unisolate, it's not going to work because the torus is now selected instead of the collection. So what you'll need to do is select the collection and then unisolate. I think it's a bit of a weird design choice. I think I can understand that when you want to isolate, you need to tell it which collection you want to isolate. But when you want to unisolate, I don't think it should matter what you've got selected. It should just unisolate to the previous state. What do you think? Is there some logic that I'm missing there, perhaps? Let me know in the comments below. But anyway, that's it for today. So I'll catch you in the next one.